Right, guys, so we're here to talk about Rocket Lab, and there's been some major updates, and it's not just the launch complex we're talking about. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to go through all the catalysts that are building up and everything that's happened over the past week that has led up to this and why the launch complex picture is much bigger than what first meets the eye. If you haven't seen us before, make sure to bang that subscribe button because we're rolling out Rock Lab content on the daily. But guys, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to hesitate and I'm going to jump straight into it. So we have got that announcement that only happened within the last few minutes. It happened actually while we were live. So Launch Complex 3 is almost complete and it's on track for its official, and I know that word is controversial around the Racket Lab community, but is officially opening next month. Our team in Virginia is deep into the launch pad activation, going system by system to prepare for test operation once flight hardware arrives ahead of the Neutron first launch. Now, we do know there's some little problems with the river leading up to Wallops, and they need that dredged. Listening to the stock spaces, the space stock spaces that happens every Wednesday, um, it seems to be that once this is all approved, they can get this done in more or less one day. All that dredging can take place in one day because it's not far up the river they have to travel. It's only around 400 yards or so. But jumping into the pictures, we can see here that we have the launch pad being assembled. We have the likes of your water tower. Very nice to see. Um, it's all coming into shape just how all our Rocket Lab investors wanted us to see. And I've seen one of the comments there pointed out there's a big Mars sticker on the side of the water tower. But what if I told you the likes of these pictures are not the most up-to-date pictures that we have seen? Well, let me take you across to Wallet's Vantage. Wallet's Vantage took a few pictures the last day, and we can see that while its pads are looking great, the Neutron launch mount appears to have received its quick disconnect umbilicals, or at least the covers for them. Now, when we flip back to this, we can't see any umbilicals or disconnects. So that is really bullish. But why I wanted to bring you here is that this all happened in perfect timing, and you're going to see exactly what I mean. So jumping across earlier on in the month, we did see General Stephen Whiten. Uh, he's the commander of the US Space Command, and he had a recent tour of the production line for electron and haste launch vehicles. And they're proud to support both the national security and commercial missions with responsive launch initiative technologies and regular and reliable access to space. So we see him here walking around with Peter around the launch complex. And we have said it before, it's not often you see Peter with a tie on. So no surprise, he's flat out at work um, with the general. But we did see Senator Kevin Kramer today put out a picture. And this is a lot more bullish than what first meets the eye. So Senator Kramer put out that aerospace companies like Rocket Lab play a significant role in advancing the national security posture in space. Great to meet with Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck to hear about the company's ongoing work with the SDA. Now, I put this forward on a live stream. Peter's not one for trying to hype the stock. So there is no way he would be having meetings with the likes of senators and letting them take a picture if there wasn't positive talks going through. This is not a confirmation that anything's taken place with the Golden Dome. But I said it in the live stream that surely if you want this Golden Dome done within the next three years while Trump's still in term, you're going to let your suppliers know ASAP. And it would make me think the likes of Rocket Lab are starting to find out whether they're in for contracts or not. And it gets even more exciting than that. So, 
what exactly is the Golden Dome? And this Space Force general owes Trump an answer. So General Michael Gertling is overseeing the development of the Golden Dome. And for any of you guys that don't know, that is the defensive shield, more or less, that the US are going to be using against any strike that may occur. But they have been given 60 days to come up with the objective architecture. Now, you need to remember this. So we've, number one, had General Stephen Whiting, who's the commander of the US Space Force, visit them. And that was all the way back on July 9th. We then had today's Senator Kevin Kramer saying he's having meetings with Peter Beck. And why have they chosen Rocket Lab to post pictures about? I wouldn't post a picture about someone I'm not looking to work with. Pull it that way. We now have that 60-day deadline where we're going to see what the architecture is going to be. But that doesn't mean that Rocket Lab are going to find out in 60 days. Rocket Lab can find out earlier. This is only that the full architecture is going to be given to Trump and that's it. That is what they need. But Rocket Lab did announce that they're having their 2025 annual meeting. And this meeting is going to take place on August 27th. Could we see the likes of an announcement on August 27th? It may not be at the earnings, but it may be at the shareholder meeting. But what's very interesting, this announcement came out earlier today. It's very interesting that the Launch Complex 3, almost being complete, happened the same day. Then I also have another thing I need to share with you. Francisco has said, what if this launch complex, the grand opening, is around August 27th, and it's going to be, that is what is the announcement's about. Guys, do let me know, are you worried in how Neutron is going to get to Wallops Island? Is it going to get there on time? Not going to lie, after seeing this picture, I, I'm a little bit of an optimist, if I... Can't say so myself. I've always thought they will be on the pad in 2025, but this has made me more bullish than ever because I believe if Neutron gets there and gets upright pretty quickly, they're not going to leave the rocket sitting there for six to eight months in an upright position. So it is really starting to heat up in this whole rocket lab space. Do you think the Golden Dome? is a lot bigger than what first meets the eye. Thinking about it, we didn't know about the Golden Dome up until three, four, five months ago. So any valuation you have from any analysts or any of the videos you may have watched have not put the Golden Dome into the valuation model. The Golden Dome is planning on being a 175 billion project, but some analysts believe they're going to be between 500 billion all the way to 1 tr trillion. And we know the government doesn't go cheap when it comes to defensive contracts. And really, guys, if you want to hear more about the Golden Dome, make sure to check out our recent live streams replay and jump into the comments so we can have a chat about what your initial thoughts are.